I've always had an issue with getting stuck in outside Ashigarami. I'm talking about coming up, not now. Not now, relax. But back in the day, when I wasn't as good as leg locks, I would get caught in outside Ashigarami, and it would suck. I used to hate the feeling of it. I would try to separate their feet, it wouldn't work. It was always just like a, a nightmare to be, to be in. So now what I want to just kind of pass on to you guys is a simple trick that works really, really good. When a guy has me in outside Ashigarami, the first thing I do is I straighten my foot out and I turn my heel towards his hip. This is number one. Create what I call a ballerina foot. From here, we flare the knee open. What I want you to do is focus on getting your left foot over his body and trying to attach your foot to your ankle, just like this. You want this consolidated position. Now, because I'm flaring Tony's knee open, I'm now able to get my hips above his. Sometimes I go to my hand, sometimes I stay on my elbow. I'll leave that up to you. I now invert and I hide my knee line, where I can then immediately go to an outside Sankaku position. Some people love that. Sometimes you can kick away to get him flat and lock up a more traditional 50-50 uh, uh, position. Again, there's, there's plenty of options for you. And then from this position, I can separate the feet and look to attack the heel hook, okay? That's what I typically do. So as a counter, this guy would put me in this position as a fucking nightmare. I'd have to hide my foot, flare his knee open, kick over the top. This is where you need to be. Because now for him to break this leg, it's very tough. For him to expose the heel, it's even harder. So as I start inverting, I get my leg out, I lock up the figure four. Now this is what I do these days. In the short that I put up, I finish from going supine, right? I went back. But what I typically do is I'll separate the feet, put my head in the middle, and I actually continue rolling. So it almost forces a backside position where I can then go shoelace ashigarami, get the bite and get the break, okay? Right from there. You can take your shoelace ashigarami, you can take your, uh, your double 50 position, the choice is yours. Again. Make sure you subscribe if you're watching this. Check out my Patreon. I do lots of breakdowns like this. So, Patreon link is in the bio. Patreon link is in the comments. Look, <laughs> I would get caught in these positions. And what do you always do? You find yourself coming up into the guy and it's not working. You stand up, he exposes your heel because you don't know what you should be doing from standing anyway. It's just a mind fuck. He puts you in outside Ashigarami. This is exactly what I want you to do. Straighten your foot out. Turn your heel into his hip to hide your heel. Flare the knee. Kick over the top and try to attach your foot somewhere near your bottom leg, your primary leg, somewhere by it. You might not be able to get to your foot, you may not even get to your ankle, but you need it attached to your primary leg. From here, elevate your hips and hide your knee line of the primary leg. Hiding your knee line just means getting your knee behind his hamstring. From here, I protect the primary leg, here and here, and because my left heel is tucked to Tony's hip, there's no actual heel exposure here. If my heel was facing the, the wall, it would be exposed. Now separate his feet, which is actually fairly easy. Put your head in the middle so he can't relock his legs and put a elbow post to expose the heel. As I start to roll to my side, I immediately lock up shoelace ashigarami, expose the heel and get the break from backside. Obviously, if he continues rolling, I just block his foot. I follow him down to a shoulder down position and I break him from here. Do me a favor and subscribe. This channel is growing at a snail's pace. Subscribe, check out the Patreon, support the content. $5 a month, $15 gets you exclu exclusive stuff. I also have new merch. We're not wearing it right now, but it is absolute fire, the new stuff. We don't have rash guards done yet. We have t-shirts done. It's called Electric Sheep. All right? Woo! Woo! Thank you guys.